Hello there, you're welcome to this vocal mixing tutorial where I'll show you how to use auto-tune to get a great and well-pitched vocal every time you try. Hit the subscribe button, let's get started. So before we get started, this class is an excerpt from our master class on vocal tuning and pitching in Udemy. You can simply click the link in the description below to get access to this course. And also don't forget to join our Telegram community where you can access project files, loops, kits, and so much more. So you can easily follow us on our tutorials right here on YouTube. All right, let's get started with the lesson. All right, so I'm going to show you how to tune vocals with the basic view. Now this is the basic view and we we'll listen to the song project here and we we'll know how if it's a soprano voice and what key it is and how to find the key with auto tune. So let's listen. Remember, this is bypassed actually, it's not turned on at the moment. So let's listen to the song and see. Alright, so that's basically it. So now we don't know what key this is in. Um, some you may maybe very musical and you can tell the key of a song by ear, but some of us can't. There's a nice plugin that comes with this auto tune suit. It's called Auto Key. This is the beat um, channel. The beat is routed to this channel. So I just have to select auto key and it's going to tell me the key of this beat. See here it says listening. So it's going to, I'm going to play it and it's going to listen. So I best you play it twice so like you can be sure that it's perfect key. We'll play it again. All right, so now it says D major, okay? It says G major now, it has finished evaluating it, so it says G major. So, because we do not have auto-tune right in the same channel, so you can't send it to the auto-tune directly, but what we can do here is, since we sit down, it's in G major, we'll come back to our auto-tune in our lead vocal. We'll come here, key, G major. And the vocal sounds a bit low, you understand? It sounds a bit deep, so we'll say low male. And then let's activate the, or let's turn it on and see how it sounds. To show the choices we made, this is the life that we chose. To see the things that we died. All right, so if you can listen carefully, you see that there's not much tuning there yet. You see how there's not much tuning done there. So let's dial it in. It's already on seven. Let's take it all the way. This retune speed. Let's see how it sounds with this with the maximum at retune speed. Let's turn up the harmony. 
This are the choices we made This is the life that we chose This is the things that we died This is why we're living our lives Like this paradise You can see how that sounds It sounds very, very artificial So this, you don't have to take it all the way to zero This is just to show you how it sounds When you take it all the way to the max So let's bring it all the way to let's say Let's say seven and ten and see you see when it's at seven or ten it doesn't sound artificial it's you know it's in key it's pitched properly but it doesn't have that signature auto tune sound so now that depends on you and the artist if you want to have that signature auto tune sound but i think for this artist having that signature auto tune sound would be best i'll take it all the way down here and then this flex tune like i said earlier is trying to make it sound more natural so let me take you all the way here and see how it sounds you can see how it sounds so natural but you don't need to go all the way to 100 you can just dial it in accordingly you know this this auto tune is some it's more of a creative decision than a technical decision as long as it sounds on key that's all that matters then how much of it you want is up is entirely up to you so if i take this human eyes all the way here human eyes kind of gives it room instead of locking it exactly on let's say on the white notes you can give it a little room to share between a white note and the next neighboring note just a little room but it's not sound off just make it sound a little bit more natural that's why it's called the humanized function so let me increase this vibrato now inside it sounds let me take you all the way here you see the way it's dragging it's dragging the vocals trying to drag it and sustain it at the same time so you can just have a little vibrato here This sounds good now let me show you what the format does let's assume i take it here you see that's what it does if that's kind of effect you want you can get that done for your vocal so let me take it back so and the transpose like i said to a deeper to another octave and all of that and detune as well so for the tracking this vocal is very clean so let's take it all the way to 100 and see Alright, so if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, you can also complete this course by clicking the link in the description below. It's available on Udemy. Click the link in the description below. You can take this course or you can also join our Telegram channel where you get access, free access to our kids, loops and so much more. Even vocal stems are always right here on our YouTube channel so you can easily follow up on our tutorials. I remember so classy. This is SC Suits giving you quality tutorials every day. Cheers.